Okay, we're ready, birthday boy. Ah, happy birthday. Look. <laughs> what? That's the present I got you. And then she oh, bought herself one. Nice. So you would oh have my a pair. God. You asked for a big size. Yeah, it's as big as me. <laughs> Go take it home. Oh my god. Hold on. Oh, you don't have the Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Wait. Uh, this is the wait for no one. Oh, it's Goku. Oh, he came with the dinner on our ride. I've never got one of those. Vegeta. This one is Vegeta. I think they're. Are they bigger than Gogeta? No, same thing. Huh. On the floor with the rock. Oh, Zed got me. Zed <laughs> got me Ninja Turtle. Zed got me Ninja Swords. That's so cool. Thank you, Zed. Oh, Ninja Stars. <laughs> oh dear. Good morning, everybody. Grayson went through his presents and to moved on to breakfast so fast that I didn't get any pictures of him, like, with his present pile. Normally, I also realized that I forgot to take, like, a picture last night. I always take a picture of, like, the setup before, the night before. I forgot. <laughs> I feel so bad. I'm just so much spacier right now because I've got, like, obviously a new baby. Um, but he didn't notice and he didn't care. He was like, Mom, it's fine. Why do you care? <laughs> so I took some Polaroids instead. But this little dude, um, I just put him on the floor so I could change his butt. But he's still sleeping and has decided he doesn't want to wake up. Look at the little belly button. Boop. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Are you gonna wake up so we can get dressed and go? No. I like sleep. Seriously, I think it's my best sleeper. Like, he sleeps so good. <laughs> to the point where, like, the kids were trying to wake him up this morning. Well, they weren't trying to wake him up, but they were like, he was slowly waking up and they were like trying to encourage him so they could all go downstairs. And then uh, during breakfast, he ate and he fell back asleep. Okay, good morning. We have all the children in the vehicle now. Coffee is had and we are heading to Sky Castle for this dude's birthday. Pretty excited. We're gonna meet his friend there and we're gonna have a fun day. So the next time you guys see me, it'll be at Sky Castle. So I was trying to be a good vlogger today and remember to pick up the camera periodically throughout the day. <laughs> thinking twice and I knew it would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind the stories I've been told they never seem to leave my mind alright we've stopped at five guys we're done at Sky Castle everybody had fun it's crazy in there and I was holding a baby and then chatting with my friend the whole time so I didn't film anything because, again, I don't like, I'm not super comfortable filming in those situations because I don't want anybody to think I'm filming their children. I don't want to, like, come across creepy. I, like, I would be uncomfortable <laughs> if I saw people, like, filming kids. Um, so, yeah, I didn't really, didn't really film in there. Um, Zach slept most of the time, like, the entire time. 
almost. He was awake for a little bit and now he's getting ready for another nap. Um, we just stopped at Five Guys for a snack because it's 2.49. Almost three o'clock. We're gonna do crepes for dinner. We didn't do crepes for breakfast. We did egg sandwiches for breakfast. Um, Two of the kids just went in with Cody to grab, use the washroom and grab french fries. And then, because most of this car feel, gets car sick. So, oh, well, here comes Phoenix. And then, um, so now we're going to go home. I'm going to make crepes for dinner. And we're just going to chill out and have a really relaxed afternoon. Because I think everybody's pretty tired. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, she let Grandma get first one. Ooh, good job, Love. Grab a crepe. Can you talk? 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 You should be able to blow Make a wish. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you guys. Um, sorry, there's a fan going in the background because the baby is sleeping. I realized we didn't film anymore after this point, and I am so behind on vlogs. Like, Grayson's birthday was, what, two weeks ago now? I'm not terrible. A week and a half ago. Um, but I've just been, with this sourdough series going up, I've just been not able to get other vlogs out between. Um... I'm really struggling maintaining any sort of vlogging schedule, so I'm just not going to right now. I'm just gonna post when I can, and I hope that's okay with everybody. I know it will be. Everybody's really cool about it. Um, I want to film more, and I want to get more out, but it's the editing that's just really difficult to like sit down and have time for right now. And I've got so much going on, so much on my plate that I haven't even talked about here in this space yet, and. I'm just trying to figure out how to balance it all without overwhelming myself. Um, the minute I start to flounder and try and like get everything done and please all of the goals that I have is the moment that I feel overwhelmed and I can't manage any of it then. So I just need to take one thing at a time and manage what I can in a day. Um, Today I am feeling overwhelmed about everything like I've just got a lot going on right now, and I'm like There's not enough hours in the day. There's not enough of me to Do all of these things right now <laughs> um, But I know it's just a day. It's just a season um, And it really doesn't even have anything to do with like having three kids. It's just being a mom and homeschooling and working and managing friendships and you know hosting women's circle and building up my um like birth work stuff and just doing all of these things behind the scenes um and then sometimes and then like gardening needs to happen soon i'm like realizing how soon the first day of spring is in two weeks you would never know um, but I'm like, oh, I gotta get the garden in. I need to like plan. I need to sit down and plan that. Usually I have it planned by now. I haven't even, well, no, I did buy some seeds. Okay. So I'm like, I'm doing better than I thought I was. Um, there's just a lot of moving spokes all the time. And sometimes I have to remind myself that I can't have all the balls in the air once. And even though I know this, I still need to remind myself of this sometimes. And I could see it even editing this video. Um, when I was talking about how I didn't take the photos I wanted to take because everything happened too quickly. And that's life I'm learning. Like, it's just getting different. Our kids are growing older. Um, Grayson's very much like a spunky little guy and he doesn't need the sentiment in the same that Mackenzie appreciates it, for example. And the kids are getting older and they just don't really like some of the little traditions that they loved when they were little they don't really care about anymore and so it's like expanding and and me being okay with like dropping some things and I don't know if this is even making sense I'm just ranting but since I didn't end this and it's a very short vlog I just thought I would pop in and say hi and kind of catch you guys up on everything that was going on um 
like there's so much good happening in our lives right now and but the days very much feel like this vlog kind of where it's just like they're so full and I'm definitely learning how to like bring you guys along and how to maintain this as I went into this year saying that I really wanted to focus on YouTube and creating more of like an actual job out of this and creating more consistent content so that I could start potentially like earning more of a living in this space and I want to actually give it a year to give it a true chance to like get to that place for me and it absolutely can get there it's got like I've got a lot of potential with this space um like I already treat this kind of like a job like I do make an income for it it's just small um so I just said like one of my goals this year was to give it a true shot for a year and actually try and things are expanding already and I'm super excited about some stuff coming up. I've got my very first brand deal that I've accepted coming up and I'm really excited about that. It's with a cloth diapering company and so you guys are going to see a video about that um, coming. I'll talk about it before and I'm really excited because you guys know that I've never accepted a brand deal before um, and I said that if I was ever going to it was going to be with something like I aligned with and something that made sense and was authentic to me and our life in this channel and so I'm just like allowing those things to come in and it's both it's so exciting but it's a little overwhelming a little nerve-wracking a little out of my comfort zone um, I'm just doing a lot of big things this month that are stretching my comfort bubble and it's both exhilarating but then sometimes like today I'm feeling it a little bit where it's like oh my gosh this is a lot but then I have to just remember like it's okay that it's a lot let it be a lot you don't have to do it all right now if like just that it's okay to put put the day down you know it's okay to put things down for a day and just like do something for you and um it's just like a feeling I'm go I know I'm going to need to get comfortable with especially if I'm going to be going into birth work um, which I'm working on right now earlier than I had anticipated. I didn't think I was going to do this until the kids were all grown up and older, but now I'm like, meh, I'm going to start going in a little bit, um, and dabble so that, like, by the time my kids are grown up, my youngest ones are grown up, that I have some, like, that business is, like, built in there for me and the foundation's there for me to just, like, take and go with. Oh, but it's just it's a hard feeling to explain because like I'm not overwhelmed in the sense of like oh my god I've put too much on my plate and like I can't handle it all it's just like a mix of I'm overwhelmed with all of the opportunities I have and I'm so grateful for them but then I'm also like trying to balance being the best mom I can be and I just want to like cook great food for my family and garden and those two things alone take like so much time to like cook food from scratch and I'm just like I've always been kind of a jack of all trades um, and I guess in this season it's just I know I can't do everything and I know how important rest is now and before I didn't prioritize rest as much like years ago and now I do and so in order to prioritize rest I have to put things down sometimes and that's hard for me. And it's still something I'm learning. So anyway, I don't know even like if I just dropped some bombs that nobody has heard about yet. I don't know if I've talked about birth work, for example. Um, like the brand deal is a big deal for me, even though it's like a small thing. It's, it's, it feels like a big deal for me. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited for the opportunities I've got and I'm really ready for spring I think I need some freaking sun that's honestly like I think I need to go outside and put my feet bare feet in the grass sun on my skin I'm just like this winter feels like it's eight million years long and I have literally been in the house for so long since I had a baby I've basically just been in the house I've gone outside to go for a walk a couple of times but besides that I've mostly just been indoors and I'm like okay I'm done I'm done now I would like to go to the outside please <laughs> but it's been too cold um anyway I'm rambling so I'm gonna let you guys go I'm gonna sit down I'm gonna let I don't know I'm gonna vlog I'm gonna start vlogging again so that um back to filming I'm mostly caught up on the sourdough videos and mostly caught up in my videos now I've got a 
kind of reno vlog coming where I where we're repurposing um not repurposing like redoing remodeling a crib um but that's not quite finished yet so that'll come out when we're done and yeah I think I'll just like vlog my way through the week and and catch you guys up that way there's just a lot of moving parts you know like my kids have busy social lives now that I'm also having to manage and we're kind of getting back into that and it's just it's so much fun but it is busy so I'm just learning how to like bring learning how to decide what balls to carry every single day and which ones to drop because it's a different load every day um but I yeah that's my plan is I'll, I'll just take you guys along and start updating you and explaining more of these things in more depth through some vlogs because I feel like that's a little easier um I haven't filmed Zagreus's two-month update yet or my two-month postpartum update and he only he's like two and a half months now yeah like exactly so I should go so he has a week and a half oh no more he has a week and a half until he's three months old so I should really do that update um <laughs> it is what it is guys uh anyway I'm gonna stop rambling at you I'll see you guys in my next one soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for just being part of my chaotic little life. Um, and thank you for just allowing me the space to feel like I can be, you know, perfectly imperfect in my own little internet bubble here. And I really appreciate that grace and that love. So thank you. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. On this road that I am on. Gotta stay here for some time